Hey guys, here is the uh, solutions to questions six through 10. Uh, the first one is just like the last one we had solved, question number five, and the last one solved to determine the solution of the system. So again, when you're solving these, you can choose to either do substitution or elimination. This one's probably a little bit easier to do with substitution because it tells you what Y is. So we're just gonna plug in what Y happens to be. So we get six X plus two times whatever our y is, so y is 3x plus 2. Okay. Um, and that whole thing is going to equal 10. So now what we do is we distribute our 2 through. So 6x remains the same. 2 times negative 3x is negative 6x plus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. That equals 10. Now we combine our like terms. 6x minus 6x is 0. So we're left with 4 on this side. So 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 equals 10. Obviously, 4 can never equal 10. So this one, again, is no solution. Okay. So if you get a specific x and one specific y, like you do in questions 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, and then 8, 9, 10, that's one solution. If you get two numbers that don't equal each other, okay, two sides don't equal each other, it's no solution. Or the third option, a little bit of foreshadowing here, will happen here, where you'll get the same thing equals the same thing, in which case that will be infinite solution. So you already know what it's going to be, but I will just go through the whole process. Uh, so again, we'll just substitute in y. So 8x minus 1 in for y up here. So 2 times. 8x minus 1, that equals 16x minus 2. So we distribute through our 2, so 2 times 18, sorry, 2 times 8x is 16x, so 16x <coughs> minus 2, that would be my dog, um, and then that equals 16x minus 2, since the 2 equal the exact same thing. Now, I'm just going to take it one step further. I'm going to eliminate the two 16s. Uh, so I'll subtract 16x from both sides. And we get negative 2 equals negative 2. Okay. Since the number is a true equation, uh, a certain number equals a certain number. In this case, negative 2 equals negative 2. This is... Oof, that came off terrible. Infinite solution. Yeah, that doesn't really work. But there we go. There we got the eyes in there. Infinite number of solutions. That leads us to question eight. Now, question eight's a little bit different than question four or five. Maybe it was five. I don't remember. Um, where the other question gave you the actual system of equations. This one, you are going to have to try to, not going to have to try to, you will find, you need to find the system of equations to help you solve it. So let's read the question. It says, you go to, you go to the store and buy two avocados and four boxes of cereal. Your total cost is $16. Your friend goes to the same store. That's just meaning that the avocados and the boxes of cereal have the same price. He buys three, or she, doesn't say which, if it's a boy or a girl, uh, three avocados and five boxes of cereal. And, oh, it, right there it does. It's a he. The cost is $21. How much does each avocado and box of cereal cost? Write a system of equations to solve. So if you remember when we did this last time, what you had to do is you had to choose a, a variable. Now think about it. Every system of equations we've done has a number with an X and then a number with a Y. And it equals something. Something with an X. Something with a y equals something. And there's usually a positive, you know, an adding or subtracting in between the, the, the x's and the y. Same thing. So what you need to do is choose a variable for the avocado and choose a variable for the box of cereal. I'm just going to do x for avocado and y for box of cereal. Does it have to be that way? No. Why am I doing it that way? Just because avocados came first. X comes first. Avocado came first. That's the only reason. Okay. So... We have an equation here. It says you bought two avocados. So we're trying to find the cost of the avocado. We don't know the cost of the avocado. Of, uh, of the avocado. We know you got two of them. And we don't know the cost of the cereal, but we do know that you bought four boxes of cereal. 
So you got two of the avocados, four of the cereals, and it cost you 16 bucks. Okay. Your friend goes there, buys three avocados. Again, we don't know the cost of the avocado, but we know that he bought three of them. And your friend really likes cereal, got five boxes of cereal, and that's a total cost of $21. Well, now what we have to do is, you know, this one's easiest to use elimination. You don't have to use elimination. You could use substitution, but that's a little bit more complicated because you have to start doing like some division and that kind of thing. So we'll just do elimination. So what we need to do is get the coefficient of either the X or the Y to be the same number. So we can either get the least common multiple of two and three is six. So we can get both X's to be six or the least common multiple of four and five is 20 or we can get both Y's to 20. Doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm gonna do the X uh, just cause the numbers are gonna be a little bit smaller. So it's just a little bit easier for us to do it. So in order for me to get six X's, I need to multiply the first equation by three and to get six X's in the second equation, I need to multiply it all by two. So now let's distribute through. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 4y is 12y. Uh, and 16 times 3 is 48. 2 times 3 is 6x. 2 times 5y is 10y. And 2 times 21 is 42. So I got six X's and six X's. So obviously I'm going to subtract them to get rid of the six X. So six X minus six X is zero. 12 Y minus 10 Y is two Y. And 48 minus 42 is six. Divide by two on both sides. Uh, y is going to be three. Now I just take that and plug it in. I'm just gonna plug it into the first equation just because the number's a little bit smaller. No reason, you can plug it into the second equation and you get the same thing. So 2x plus 4 times, now we know y is 3, is 3. That equals 16. 2x plus 12 is 16. Subtract 12 from both sides. Looks like I'm running out of room. 2x equals 4. I'm just going to come over here. Just so we can see the division, divide both sides by two, x equals two, okay? So now how do you actually put this equation into the answer? Well, the first thing it says, type your system of equations. So what's the equations that we had? It is two x, oops, looks like I typed the right number in, two x plus four y equals 16 first equation that we used. The second equation that we used is 3x plus 5y and that equals 21. And we came out with an answer, an x equal 2. But x stood for something. x stood for avocado. So the avocado cost $2 each. And y was the box of cereal. So the cereal cost $3 each. So that would be the acceptable way to write the answer for number 8. Go back to number nine, okay? Again, this one says solve it by substitution. So this one's slightly more complicated because it doesn't tell you what variable you're going to substitute for. Um, I'm just gonna add go x to both sides down here. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. Okay. So y equals x plus four. So now we, oops, helps if I put four and not y. Um, so we're just gonna substitute that in for that y right there. So negative three x plus y, what is y? It is x plus four. Okay. Now what we always do is we tend to put it in parentheses and that's just because if this is a negative sign here, if it's subtraction, we have to distribute that negative sign through. When it's a plus, it really doesn't matter. Um, but it's just good to write it that way, and that equals 2. So now we just combine like terms. Negative 3x plus x is negative 2x plus 4. That equals 2. Uh, subtract 4 from both sides. 
negative 2, come on, negative 2x equals negative 2. Divide by negative 2. So x equals 1. Okay. Now we're just going to take that, plug that into uh, the, first, the second equation just because it's easier. So 1, we plug in the negative. So it's negative x, so negative of 1 plus y equals 4. So negative 1 plus y is 4. Add 1 to both sides. Oops, I put a 1 there. And y equals 5. So let's just double check that real quick. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. That works. Negative 1 plus 4 is, so I'm sorry, negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So that works. So we have 1 and 5. So to come over here, question 9, you can either put it in like this, or you can put it in like this. x equals 1 y equals 5. Both of those are acceptable. So you only have to do one of them, either just that or that. Now let's go to question 10. This one says you must solve it by elimination. So let's see, we have a 1 as your coefficient and a 3 for your x's. You have a 1 and a 2 for the y's. Um, so let's just go ahead and multiply both. Let's multiply the, new, the top one by 2. Again, I could do by 3. It doesn't really matter. It's just that the numbers are slightly smaller. So I get 2x plus 2y equals 12. I'm sorry, not 12, equals 24. So you distribute the 2 to all of them. Uh, the second one we just rewrite, which is nice, 3x minus 2y equals 6. Now, how am I going to eliminate this? I have a 2y and a negative 2y, so I'm going to Add the two of those together to eliminate the 2y. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. 2y plus negative 2y is 0. 24 plus 6 is 30. Divide by 5. x equals 6. Now we just substitute in. We have substitute into the top one just to make our life easy. So 6 plus y is 12, subtract 6 from both sides, y equals 6. Yes, x and y can equal the same thing. So let's just double check. 6 plus 6 is 12. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18, minus 2 times 6 is 12. 18 minus 12 is 6. So again, to type it in, you could either type it in like this, 6 minus 6, make sure it's in parentheses if you do it that way, or x equals 6 y equals 6. Again, either way works. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out, uh, reach out to me. I'm more than willing to help you. Um, don't forget to make sure that you uh, attach your work uh, to the assignment in Google Classroom. So good luck. Reach out to me if you need any help.